Okay, moving forward with our uh, videos on Excel for beginners, um, we're going to look now at formulas a little more closely, show you how you actually build a formula, uh, and show you the mo some of the most basic operations. So let's just get right in. Oh, by the way, um, if you want to download a copy of this spreadsheet of this workbook for yourself so you can follow along, so you can look at things and examine things in your own at your own pace, feel free to go ahead and uh, go to my website. There's a link in the description and you can go there and you can download uh, this workbook so you can work along at your own pace. So, um, so let's build our first formula. So we're going to go to cell A1. All right, A1. See here we're in cell A1. It's also highlighted. We come over here to input our value. So I'm going to say equals. You always start a formula with the equal sign. The equal sign tells Excel this is a formula. I don't want you to display what I type in here. I want you to perform this calculation and return that value for me. So let's just do the most basic. Equals 1 plus 1. And it's 2 there. So if you were ever wondering what 1 plus 1 equals, now Excel has told you. We can also do subtraction. So let's do in cell A2 here. Let's do equals 2 minus 1. And 2 minus 1 is 1, again, if you ever were curious. So we can also uh, add, perform calculations on cells. So let's say we want to sell, add cell A1 and A2. Inquiring minds want to know what 2 plus 1 is. We can do that, so we just do equals. And A1, the address of the first cell we want to add, plus a2, the address of the second cell we want to add, we hit enter, and 3, 2 plus 1 is 3. Um, so yeah, so that's how you do addition and subtraction and how you reference cells. So let's come over here and do something a little more interesting. Let's say we want to calculate the total income we would get if we sold our entire stock. So we want to calculate the quantity in stock times the price to figure out how much money would we bring in if we sold all of our stock of Junior Mints, for example. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here to cell F2, highlight F2. You can see we got cell F2 here. Drop our cursor in this box. And we're going to do equals. Tell Excel we're about to give it a formula. We want to give it the address of the quantity cell C2. You can see Excel highlights cell C2 for me, so I can see if I've really got the right cell. To represent multiplication Excel, you use the uh, asterisk, shift 8. Uh, so I do shift 8 for asterisk for multiply. So cell C2 times cell E2, the price. C2 times E2, I hit enter. And we get $17.85. So if we were to sell our entire stock of Junior Mints, we would get a whopping $17.85. Now we can also, there, we'll show you, I'll show you how to do this in a later video. It's, we're not going to go over it now, but know that you can quickly fill in these values just by dragging. So if I had 200 rows, I wouldn't have to type that every time. I can just drag and Excel copies it down for me because Excel is super helpful. So you can see here, in total income, we have cell C3 times cell E3, which works to 37.23. And cell F4 here, you can see we have $43.51 equals C4 times E4. So that's multiplication. Division, you can do the same way if you wanted to. So equals F. 2 by price, E2, this should spit out uh, 15 again for us, 15, F2 divided by E2 equals 15. So all we did was divide the total income by the price to get the quantity, so we just did the operation in reverse. Um, and that's how you represent division in Excel, it's just the, the uh, forward slash. So then there's also these range formulas you can do. So let's say we want to see if we liquidated our entire stock and sold everything, how much would we come up with? So you can 
There's a couple ways you can do this. Uh, you could type in the formula, but if you just want to do a quick sum, the easiest way to do that is you're going to put your cursor in the cell you want, cell F6. I come up here to home. Then down here, there's this great auto, auto sum button. I just click that. It's a uh, sigma, I think. I don't really know my Greek al alphabet, but it's this auto, that means auto sum. So I click auto sum. And you can see it populated this formula for me equals sum F2 colon F5. That colon means through. So it's saying perform this operation on all of these cells, cell F2 through F5. You can see it's got it highlighted for me here. I hit enter. And $152.93. So our entire stock is worth $152.93. I could also if I wanted to do an average instead, I can put my cursor back in here, come here to home, to hit this little arrow next to the sigma button, and that gives me several more options. So let's say I want to see what the average would be if we, the average price of uh, all of our total uh, values is. We do average. Average F2 colon F5, so it's going to give me the average of the values in cells F2 through F5. I hit enter, $38.23. Um, so that's, uh, that's uh, quickly how you do some simple formulas, how you do some basic math. Um, honestly, that stuff is probably about 50% of what most people do in Excel, so you're about halfway to being able to do what the average Excel user does most of the time. Um, so stick around for a few more lessons and we will get you up to speed pretty quickly.